A very good day to all the panels. My name is Ngo Sheng Han. Today, I am going to do a presentation about my final year project, which is called as Project Reka Bentuk for Diploma Student. The name of my product is Smart Clothes Hanger. Before I start my presentation, I hope all panels mm -hmm. can hear me and I will speak as clearly as possible. Now, I will start my presentation from introduction. Drying clothes is a must-done housework every day. Mm -hmm. This is because everyone needs to dress up themselves before going anywhere, even at home. The clothes will need to be washed. After that, they need to be dried up so that they can be worn again. The clothes will probably be dried outside of our houses. However, the weather is unpredictable. Other than that, Malaysia is also a rainforest country. I believe keeping the clothes safe from rain has been a problem for every one of us. This is because you might be working outside or even sleeping at the time. This will cause your clothes become wet due to the rain and you will need to clean it again. Therefore, we decided to make a drying rack with a hanger that can extend and retract automatically according to the weather. The main objective of making this product is to develop a low-cost and effective cloth hanger prototype that can function based on weather condition. As I mentioned just now, the weather is unpredictable. This makes people always fail to keep the clothes safe from rain in time. It is also impossible to rush back home if you are working at company during raining. Having a mat is also not a perfect solution because the rain might start to fall at night time. As a result, our product can definitely solve the problems for drying clothes. Besides, the material we use are durable, so the lifetime of our product will be sustainable. Therefore, it is a very cost-effective product. So now I will show you the design of our product. This is the design of our prototype. We use SOLIDWORK to design our product. Manufacturing process such as welding, cutting, and drilling are used to build our product. Firstly, we use galvanized steel, which is also called as dry steel for the body, base, and shoes rack. This is because galvanized steel has high resistance to corrosion and oxidation. Besides, it is also cheaper and more readily available than stainless steel. We also choose aluminum hanger. This is because aluminum is strong enough to support the clothes. Besides, it is also very light. Other than that, we use DC motor to rotate the hanger. This is because DC motor has the criteria of quick starting, stopping, reversing, and acceleration. It is very suitable for our hanger for extending and retracting purpose. Arduino is used for microcontroller. Rain sensor is used to detect the rain, while RDR sensor is used to detect the sunlight. Although prototype is optional for our product, we still think that having a modeling can ease the presentation. Besides, panels can also understand the concept and working principle of our product easily. Some of the material are replaced because we use what we found in our houses to make this modeling. This is the design of our modeling. The body and base are made of cardboard. The hanger is made of hybrid ice cream stick, while hanger rod and pillar are made of wood chop stick. We use tissue paper roll to make the stand. Doing thread is used as puller and paper clip as hanger. Servo motor is used to rotate the hanger. Arduino, rain sensor, and LDR sensor are the same materials used for the prototype. The next topic of this presentation is analysis. This is the design that available in market normally. This is the design we innovate after getting the information from market survey. So this is one of the market survey we conducted. And the question is, do you prefer a manual or automatic clothes rack? There are 137 respondents in our survey and there are 89.8% of respondents prefer an automatic clothes rack while the rest think that manual is better. This shows that most of the people think that an automatic hanger can reduce their burden when it comes to dry clothes. So here is the result based on experiment for our modeling. For cloudy or rainy day, the hanger will pull up which means retract. For sunny day, the hanger will release down means extend. Now I am going to talk about market potential of our product. So this is the market potential. The age of potential customers for our product will be between 25 to 65. This is because at the age of 25, people start to look for a job and may also live alone. 
since our product is very user-friendly, so we believe that at the age of 65, are still able to function our product. Automatic, movable, and durable are also the market potential of our product. Those design characteristics has been mentioned just now. So this is another market survey conducted by us to know whether people are interested in buying our product. They are 89.8% of respondents interested to buy our product. The total product cost for one unit is 270 ringgit and 50 cent. For the selling price for one unit is 285 ringgit. For the total profit for one unit is 14 ringgit and 50 cent. There are four marketing plans. First is to advertise via Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram so that more people can know about our product. The second is to give promotion to customers who purchase in big quantity. The third is free delivery service. Last but not least, we can create a website because nowadays people tend to buy everything online. So this is the circuit diagram of our product. This is RAN sensor. This is Arduino. This is LDR sensor. This is resistor. This is ground. This is servo motor. This is voltage or battery. And both of these are limit switch. This is the code we use to automate it. We use to automate our hanger. For this part, it's just the input. For this part, it's for troubleshooting purpose, where we can solve the problem easily. This part is to see whether the switch and the sensors are triggered. For this serial print, the data can be shown by connecting the Arduino with the computer or laptop. So for this part, is the condition to make the hanger to be retracted or extended. This LDR, this LDR value can be changed. When the LDR value is increased, so we need the brighter light to activate the LDR sensor. So this part is to make sure that the hanger will fully extend and also fully retract. So now I will show you the working principle of our product. This is the hanger and this is the clothes and the paper clip we made ourselves. This is the Arduino. So when the LDR sensor is being covered means cloudy day, it can't detect the sunlight and it will send information to the hanger to be retracted, means going upward. So when it is sunny day, LDR sensor will detect the sunlight and the hanger will extend. In this situation, it's released down. When it is raining, the rain sensor will detect rain and let the hanger to retract. After stop raining, the rain sensor will dry and the hanger will extend again. So that's, that's all for the working principle. Now we come to conclusion. In the conclusion, we think that our product is very useful and can work effectively as we help the cons consumer to solve their problem on drying clothes. People will not have to worry about their clothes while drying outside of their houses. I want to thank my partner as well as my supervisor, Dr. Bairu, for helping me to get through this project. Last but not least, I also want to thank both of the panels for spending their time to watch this presentation. Once again, thank you.